now let's discuss how gazebo plugin actually works follows the same concept that we know from ross of publisher subscriber and topic i know at this moment you are shocked when i was shocked when i first discovered it let me prove it to you okay now firstly i uh, will start gazebo i go on this so applications then i go on gazebo and waiting for gazebo to open up once gazebo open up let me show you something interesting tz that's basically for gazebo and t o p i c you can understand its topic and minus l is minus that's not minus that's the command l so this is will give you the list of the topics that presently running on this gazebo okay so these are the gazebo topics not ross topic okay so these are the gazebo topic let's try and see ah uh, yeah this topic let's try and see what are there on this topic. before that let's try and see how many other commands are there so is that topic i call it minus but it's basically the command the h is for help so you can see these are the topics that you can see over here this w4 is the world minus a uh, this l i said you the list i for the information e for echo and v for view so these are the all things that you can see over here so these are the parameters that's present in gazebo 9 because i'm using ross melodic so it may differ in your case okay so i that's why i showed to you but the command most probably will be same that's now just echo gazebo topic info will take this topic out so what you are seeing over here this is the type of the message that's basically gazebo message factory so now it's publishing and subscribing you can see at this ip address okay so next let's try to understand where this is there actually where is this gazebo message factory store so that is also very interesting it's not stated anywhere i just found out you go on your computer your local machine go on other location go on your computer then search for user go on include and over here there are so many files let's uh, let's search the gazebo and what you are seeing over here my version as i already told you my one is Ma ross melodic and gazebo 9 you if you are having neotic then it would be gazebo 11 over here okay and uh, for ross 2 as well that's gazebo 11 as per i know so this is gazebo 9 i am going inside gazebo 9 gazebo now over here you can see this messages okay so this is where all the message resides so now let's search for the topic now the interesting thing is that the factory message type is factory but how you'll find it will use this topic name to find it so this topic name is factory so this is the topic and you can see two three things over here so what you are seeing over here is basically let me open this up firstly i have opened this on text editor so you can see this so what is this this is actually google photo buffer so that's used for serial communication okay so that's the basically format this gazebo is using for storing the data and extracting data from it okay so this is the one now see the message type is factory but how you will get it you will get it with this topic name but its message type is this big one now the other important thing over here is i want to show you this factory pb.h so this is also very important when we'll start coding on this you will understand this this file is also very important i have opened it in visual studio to show you why it's important so you can see over here i know most of the things you are seeing like what is this alien thing don't worry i am showing you the important thing over here so this is the factory message that is being class this that is being defined so that's basically what you're seeing over here that's a class inside this there are so many options so like that we can set the hdf file name we can set the pose of it we can edit the name we can clone the things okay so you can see this is very similar to the ross topic message details right and now see using this function we'll be able to set the things up although we'll discuss in next video about that when we start uh, learning the world plugin and model plugins and all those things over there we'll discuss more detail on to this but i'm just showing you like set hdf that means using this we can set the hdf set the edit name that takes in the value as character so these are the things that can be set using this class 
isn't it interesting so we just need to use this class so don't worry we'll go further detail on this very much detail now the next way so one way we understood how to look at this topics and all using the command on the terminal writing this like this gazebo topic i or f anything that's valid using anything from here there is one other way when you go inside gazebo so there is on windows on window there is topic visualization when you click on this so there are so many topics which you can visualize let me open one of the things that actually we having a uh, data coming on it so that's called world stat now you can see this world stat having time all the things and it is this topic and i even i can show you where this is when you go back on here just write world you can already start to see this okay, you can see this so this is the topic that is being defined for so you can see world stat using this we search this but the actual data type is world stats that's the data type and this is the topic name using which we searched over here okay and why dash is there dash is there because you can see this type of constant naming is there so that's why dash we put dash so that by automatic it will recognize what's the before name of it basic the namespace of it okay that's why we do this and this is also a wonderful technique of way of extracting to understand how gazib who is receiving the data on it okay so even i can explain you what is there this is the simulation time that's going over here and this is the pause time i haven't paused it that's why it's 000 let's pause it uh, at this some time at over here now once we pause it you can see this pause is there okay you can see the pause value got changed when we pay, play it again now you can see that value got to constant so it stored when this was last paused so like this things are there we'll go on more detail of this at present it's not paused so it's false now it became true you can see this these are the things that you can use from here as well understand i hope you understood what i mean on this we can use publisher subscriber topic things in gazebo as well so this is a very big thing because it's going to solve a lot of our mysteries frankly speaking the 40 percent of your confusion just gone here now the next thing over here is the types of gazebo plugins so basically there are six types of gazebo plugins world plugin model plugin sensor plugin system plugin you can understand from the name what they do okay why there are six types so basically what we generally do while writing any gazebo plugin okay whenever you write any of the gazebo plugin you have to inherit from the other plugin so these are the six types which you can inherit while writing okay we you can inherit these classes onto your like there is world plugin so this is the world plugin which you can inherit onto the plugin that i have written over here so i have inherited by public okay so this is the thing if you hasn't got it right now till here don't worry there is so much to go on depth this link i have added onto your description okay and you can read official documentation over here as well so that's it th this video